Hello everyone, Nick Fartuce here. Welcome back to the random Mugen Mania. Alright, so this is gonna be our last Mugen Mania for 2022. But once again, 2023, it's back to normal Saturdays because we're recording this on Thursday for Friday because of New Year's Eve. But still the same show as always. Brandon Slayton characters from my roster. Do it out. I'm running a Slayton stage from my roster. And if any fighters are lacking because I forgot to give them the fighters I don't know about, please let me know so we prepare for next time they show up. All right. You guys know the drill. Let's go. Sai from Akatsuki BlitzCon for the left. And we got the boss, Oga, from... What is his name? Oga from the... Uh, I forget the name of the game, but he's the final boss of that game. He'll rally out the team on the right. Master Oga. He's from Galkaiser. There, I got it. He's from Galkaiser. Right team on the right. All right, enough talk. Let's go. Marzo Futasa... Marzo Futa Siwa Suwa from Toho versus Lubu from Slango Fire. Marzo Futa Siwa. Nah. Hope I say it right. Marzo Futa Suwa. One of the challenge fighters. And Terror Fire Zero character from the game one. And Sai versus Lubu, Spiral, Rentos. Rentosaka, Rentosaka, and Oga. Man, I'm not ready. Also, Mommy Zoe with projectile spam. And down goes Lu Bu. Guess Mommy Zoe was actually right in pursuit of Lu Bu this time. Spiral's not doing any better. Mommy Zoe is on a rampage with the projectiles. Nixon was fake Wong. That's what the same character left is. is. And for the Eternal Fire Zero character. Rain's really about to last some steam here. Shiko Yusuke, that's what the third character is, but I doubt we'll be seeing them at this point. Mommy Zoe is on a rampage. Oh, Rin got hit. But still. Her projectile spam is so relentless. She is not letting our opponents any room to attack. She's about to chase this, isn't she? She's probably gonna cheese. This is gonna be the cheesiest OCB, isn't it? Okay, she got that, but not much. There's only one way to turn us around at this point. They gotta rely on Oga. There's no way Rin's gonna be able to get through this. She is just unable to attack with all these projectiles. Man. Alright, here goes Master Oga. Oh! There he goes! Oh! Oga's attacks are bypassing the projectiles! But, only just for a brief moment. He's fighting back. He might be able to. And she's the OCV prevented. Olga took her down. Man. Olga's ready to prove what it means to know OCV now, isn't it? Oh, 
Wong Fei Young fighting back. But Olga just was too much. Man. At this rate, Olga might just OCV this. In a seven round match, but he was able to make a comeback for the team on the right. It's just me or Shigo not taking much damage. Either that or projectiles Ogres usually aren't as strong as I thought. Real combo! Ooh! Counter! Yeah, Chico's dead. I'm sure of it. Yep. I had a feeling. Olga was just relentless. Despite the time was running out, there was just no way she's gonna win. How about Sai? No. I honestly feel that because he's not equipped with the eye patch, he's definitely gonna need one for next time. So, yeah. If you guys know, please let me know. Just in case he happens to appear again. But yeah, I wanna make sure that characters are buffed. Because they could appear again, they could appear in other videos. Just wanna give them more of a fighting chance rather than just get crushed because of lack of AI. Yeah, so much to do. All right, next battle. Okay, we got one of the, uh, Hu San Yang, one of the bootleg fighters in my roster, Ryan team on the left. And Sailor, Sailor Saturn, Ryan team on the right. Banjo and Kazooie versus Wild Rock from Fighting Jokes. And this is actually Zack's stage from Dead or Alive, but the music is much different for the PSX version than the arcade version, to be honest. I prefer the arcade version of the song. Anyways, Banjo Kazooie, Abobo, The Black Ranger, and who's saying versus Wall Rock, Diablo, Chrome Dome, and Sailor Saturn. And Wild Rock is getting crushed. Banjo and Zuri is just too much for him. Wild Rocket, that's what his full name is. Oh, of course. He's one of the only fighters from Fighting Jokes Man roster that does have the AI pass from Firesen off. Perhaps Diablo might be able to take advantage of this loss and try to make a comeback as he sets Banjo and Zooie on fire. But Banjo and Zooie aren't slackers. When they get serious, they really mean it. But, so but Diablo just. Uh. Why am I calling it Sauron? Maybe because I'm thinking about the Lord of the Rings character, who is based on fire. But Sauron and Power Rage, it's the carnivorous dinosaur. But Bobo might prove be a challenge, unless Diablo just warps. Bobo just prevented any chance of OCB in this match. Here comes Chrome Dome. We've seen how some Kamikaze fighters have been, and there's two of them right back to back. 
This could be tough for the team on the left. Chrome Dome's grabs are relentless. But a bubble strength is terrifying. Oh, a bubble with his own grab. The foot dive. And Chrome Dome takes down a Bobo. Let's see how the Black Ranger does against Chrome Dome. A Roy B suplex to his defeat. Yep. Down he goes. All right. Let's see who San Yang does against Chrome Dome. Joey Foss versus Kamikaze. Who would win? Chrome Dome with those grabs. Oh, power hits from Kutani Yang, but not enough to take down Chrome Dome. He just proved that just because you don't have a power meter doesn't mean you are completely helpless. As do other Kamen Kai fighters prove as well. All right, last battle. Here we go. Yui Kono from Sword Art Online. All right, team the left. And Gulpin from Paper Mario, or Gulpin. Why are those enemies from Chapter 7 in Paper Mario on my team on the right? Kojiro Sonata from The Last Play versus Ippo from the anime series. I forgot the name, but he's from an anime. And we're finishing off the year in Patchouli's library. With Kojiro Sonata, Red Guardian, one as a manga Dio Fighters, and Yui Kono versus Ippo. One of the fighters from Savage Rain, Marilyn Sue, and Gulpin. Epos fighting back, but Kodro's power can be a troublesome fight for him. He's not careful. Right there! Super combo! Oh, yeah, I should probably mention the Kamikaze fighters, the sort of Nintendo based ones, seem to have that role. There are some Marge Capcom fighters they may as well. So, just letting you guys know that not all the fighters from Kamikaze are from Super Nintendo games. There's a variety of them. It's just back when the power meter wasn't exactly a thing. It was just normal moves and special moves. Anyway, we got Chung. Kojiro took down Chung. Here goes Marilyn Sue. She's got her AI pass from Sect. And there she goes. Super combo. It's Gulpin. That's what the name of the pair of Mario Fighter is. If you're just wondering. I was close with Gulpin. But that was a Pokemon. Gulpin is the pair of Mario enemy. Oh! Kodru just clutched that victory! That was a close one. If he takes on Gulpin, that's no CV.
And OCV victory to end off the year. Oh yeah, that was fun. Now I haven't seen Azuma Dayo, so I might have to guess who that fighter was before we close things out. I think it's Sakaki. I might be wrong. You know, I'll probably just see what they are, just to be safe. I mean, might as well. We have time. I mean, that was our last fight for today. Let's go see what it is. Just gotta find out where they are. Okay. They're right by the Double Dragon Fighters. Sagaki, that's who she is. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these videos this year. So have a good rest of your day. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys next year. Before then, if any fighters listed here, whether or not they took part in this battle or, or not, have AI patches or versions that are better than the ones I used, let me know in the comments below. Besides that, yeah. See y'all next year for more random moon and mega battles. Bye bye.